Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to the Sweetwater Minute. We have something really exciting for you this week on the Sweetwater Minute. As we're releasing this video, the Winter NAM Show 2012 is opening in Anaheim, California. But we've got a brand new piece that's being announced at the NAM Show that we were able to get early thanks to our close relationship with Universal Audio. The piece I'm talking about is the brand new audio interface from Universal Audio called the Apollo. Now this may look like your standard audio FireWire interface. Connects to the computer, FireWire 800. It has four mic preamps. There are 18 inputs, 24 outputs. Has all the different routing. You can see behind me there's a uh, application that comes with it for setting up your monitoring, latency-free monitoring, that kind of thing. But this interface has a big secret. The secret is there's actually a UAD2 card built right into it. So that means that while you're tracking, you can be applying Universal Audio plugins to your signals. Then when you go to mix down or when you're mastering, you can use that same card inside the Apollo interface to run plugins for your mix down or your mastering session. It's really an incredible interface that gives you a lot of power. So let's take a closer look at the UAD console software, which is where a lot of the action that we're talking about takes place. Within the UAD console, we've got controls for the microphone preamps here. We've got inserts for our plugins here. Of course, we have level controls. There are also two aux sends, so we can apply effects. We can have reverb, we can have delay, whatever you want while you're tracking. And we also have two independent mixes that can be routed to headphones. So we have two separate headphone outputs on the front panel of the Apollo. We can have a separate mix feeding each one of those. So it's very flexible in a tracking situation. Applying a plug-in is as easy as loading it into the console. For example, here I've got an 1176 compressor that I've got on the first channel, and that'll be applied to the microphone, it'll be applied to the high impedance instrument level input, it'll also be applied to a line level input if that's what we're using. We could also load up, say, an SSL or a Neve channel strip. If we put those all the way across the console, basically we'll be tracking with the sound of that console right down our signal. The UAD console is also where we can control our monitors. There's a front panel control, but there's a control section right here for choosing the source that you're listening to, as well as for setting the level. And this is a digitally controlled analog output, so you're getting a pure analog output from the, uh, from the uh, interface, even though you're controlling the level with the digital signal, you're not losing any resolution as that goes up and down in volume, so it stays very pure no matter whether you're listening at low volume levels or high volume levels. Now when you get to mix down, you can also apply your UAD plugins to your mix. So in your tracks, uh, you can be loading up a compressor. In this case, I've got a, a tape simulator that I've loaded up. And that's actually running inside the Apollo during our mix down. So it's all being handled via FireWire. And again, you can apply those plugins while you're tracking. You can apply them while you're mixing. You can listen to them. You can write them into your signal. It's a very flexible system that lets you really get the most out of your UAD plugins. Now right now, the Apollo connects to your computer via FireWire 800, or it'll also use FireWire 400. And there will be a Thunderbolt option coming later this year as well. It's compatible with Macintosh now. Later this year, there'll be Windows support. And it does support virtually any DAW that runs on your computer. So I've been running it with PreSonus Studio One. I've also been using it with Pro Tools 10. You could use it with Digital Performer. You could use it with Cubase, Nuendo, Live. Whatever DAW software you want to run, the, the Apollo interface will be compatible right away with that. I'm really excited about this interface. Being able to track with the UAD plugins, being able to get those tonalities right into your signal as you're laying them down onto hard disk is really a cool thing. The four mic preamps sound good. The instrument inputs sound good. The outputs sound very pristine. It's a very clean sounding interface. Very happy with this performance in my studio. Plenty of connectivity for whatever you need to do as well. I'd like to thank Universal Audio for letting us have a sneak peek at their Apollo interface. I've had my hands on it for about a month now and it's really been a lot of fun to work with. I'm Mitch Gallagher. Thanks for joining me for the Sweetwater Minute.